got to give me a good reason, at least two, why you don't like Trump. He's racist. Oh my God. Yup, boo me. Thank you, guys. Okay, so let me ask you a dumb question. Uh -huh. can, you, can you define what does it mean to be racist? <laughs> do, you, do you want me to look up a definition? No, no, I want you to... You, you said he's a racist, so you, yeah. must, you must have a definition of racism in your mind. Tell me what that definition is. Okay, so... Ooh, I'm going to make, make you guys wait on this. Ooh. Zero knowledge. Guys, pl please don't heckle. I, just, I'm, I'm, I, I want to try to understand because these words have a lot of meaning. Yeah. But you can't get... I, I, mean, I know it's hard on the spot. I just want you to think about it because if you say Trump is a racist, you yeah. should be able to easily give a definition of what that word means. So it's hatred towards another race, right? So when has he ever exhibited that? Give me spe clear and specific examples. You got one? Um, well... Yeah, I heard someone say he told, uh, told... <laughs> yes! Okay, but let me just help you out here. Uh -huh. What, you think he's a racist because the media has told you he's a racist? Because you can't give me an example off the top of your head and even when you phone a friend to the audience. Not, I'm not criticizing you. Maybe the media is lying to you. Maybe the man who's being called a racist is actually someone that's trying to improve lives of all Americans. I think this is fun, guys. So, Is there any more proof needed that liberalism is a mental disorder? Because it doesn't matter what you say to these people, they will never, ever, ever change their mind.